doing a um, video today on my uh, Leatherman Wave Plus. Um, not doing a review on it. There's plenty of those online already, so I um, just wanted to show you the modifications I've made to mine. Maybe give you some ideas. In the uh, Leatherman, when you open it up, on the one side you've got a um, you've got this driver bit. So you've got a Phillips head. Turn it around. You've got the slot drive um, bit on the other end. Um, so you've got that already there. The, um, that one bit on the other side of the handle there was speaking in past tense there was another um, slot drive there I've actually turned that into a chisel um, I just didn't need two, uh, two screwdrivers the same and I can always make use of a chisel um, whether it's just sitting around camp and doing a bit of uh, carving the next thing I did was on the can opener um, can opener slash bottle opener I uh, sharpened the, the back edge of that, so I've got like a bit of a gouge there that I can use for uh, whittling spoons. And the other thing I did with it, which was the most um, important thing, or one thing I mainly wanted, was a uh, pair of tweezers. Uh, they don't have tweezers in them, the uh, Leatherman Wave. So after a bit of research, what I came up with was this which is the tweezers there. And they are just the standard tweezers for a uh, Leatherman squirt. So if you go online, you can find um, Leatherman squirt replacement tweezers. And to fit them, side for a second, to fit them on the one side of the Leatherman, you've got the hidden, hidden um, lanyard uh, loop. So if you didn't know, you've got the saw there, on the side where the saw is, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the viewfinder so you can, I can share it to you. So up in there, you can see that extra little that little loop in there. That's your um, that's your lanyard. So you need a screwdriver or something to push it out. So it comes out like yay, and you can tie your lanyard on that. So in the top of that, where that goes into, there was a slot. Well, there is a slot for it to go into. On the other side of the handle, back over this side, where the file is, so you've got the file there, diamond file on one side and a coarser file on the other. So where that is, at the top of that handle, you can see there's a slot. See that groove there? So on the other side, that groove is, or well, that slot's filled with the uh, that lanyard loop, but on this side, there's nothing there. So the tweezers, them up again. So the tweezers, uh, these haven't been modified, they've already got that little bend in them. Alright, so they just slot, they just slot in there. Yep. Alright, they go in easy. Alright, so they just go in there and then you just push it home. Locks in there. Doesn't interfere or impede the uh, that file at all. And once they're in there, you know, it's never, they're never coming out. Alright, so that's... You hardly even know it's there. So that's a brilliant little... Brilliant little hack for them. Um, just fitting your tweezers. And you're always using tweezers in the bush, pulling out splinters or... Pulling out ticks that have started burrowing their way into you. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a great thing. The only thing missing off the uh, Leatherman, which I'd really like, is the detachable uh, file. So you can touch up your um, your knives and stuff like that on it. Uh, other Leathermans have it, the um, detachable file on them. So the solution, which I haven't done yet, I'm going to buy a um, little file card. It's a, like a diamond file. So you've got a medium and a fine on two different sides and like plastic in between. So what I'm going to do is cut that down a bit smaller, separate the two um, file pieces off it, the hone pieces off it, and then glue them back to back together. And um, so it'll be a thinner um, profile, and that'll slot into that that pouch, that little pocket at the back of the pouch. Um, so then I'll always have the um, always have the option or the ability to sharpen the blades on this as well. 